All right, I hope you can't hear that noise going on outside. I think they're like pressure washing the street or something, you know what I mean? Something like that. And it's really loud to me, but hopefully it's not super loud to you. But what's up, y'all? Today, super rainy day, and I want to just chat about new makeup with you guys. What is new out there? What I think is really, really cool that I'm excited about, stuff that maybe I'm not so excited about. And really, this is just an excuse to chat with you guys with some coffee about new makeup, okay? That's, that's exactly what this is. <laughs> If you are curious what's on my lips, it's just like a super nude. You can almost not even tell I'm wearing lipstick. I don't know if that's good or bad, you know, but <laughs> it's the Revlon lipstick in uh, Untold Stories and it's just like a perfect nude lipstick. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, I wanna take a second to thank today's video sponsor, which is Casetify. So if you've not heard about Casetify, especially if you've been watching my channel, I talk about them a lot. I've worked with them a lot. They are the phone cases I've been using exclusively for quite a while now because I kind of came to the realization that, you know, we spend a lot of money on our phones. They're expensive. And to be protecting them is one of the most important things because I'd just been feeling like a lot of the cases I'd been using in the past that I'd bought for cheap on other sites just weren't as protective and I dropped my phone all of the time. So that's why when Casetify kind of entered my life, I just absolutely fell in love because these cases are super protective. They're super cute. I wanna talk about some of the ones I have right now, but their Chi Tech technology is drop test approved for up to 9.8 feet, seriously. I'm gonna show you a drop test right now with my phone that I love and use every day <laughs> as we do, because that is how much I trust these cases. I've dropped my phone a million times. I've never had a scratch, a dent, any issues, cracked screens, none of that. Plus they have a lifted camera ring and a raised front bezel to protect it from all angles and any way you might drop it. <laughs> I love that they're compatible with 5G. They're compatible with wireless charging, which is huge. That's pretty much exclusively how I charge my phone. So like when I'm looking at cases, that's pretty important to me. And I know a lot of us are moving towards that wireless charging, you know, but Caseify's new impact and ultra impact cases are also made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials which I think is so cool. And of course they come in a ton of designs. You can customize them if you want with your name or your monogram or a word that means a lot. Maybe you have a word of the year. You can also pick between different colors and prints. You guys, they have so many options. I cannot stress that enough. But their cases are also 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. And they have an antimicrobial coating which keeps your case germ-free, which I think is so neat. It kills 99% of bacteria, so the ones that I have right now are so freaking cute. This is the one I just put on my phone. It's this, I know you're excited. I freaking love tortoiseshell and I have a coffee mug that looks like this. This looks exactly like it, but I just think this one is so cute. It's super, super protective. It's got all the rubber around the edges, which I love. Another one, they always come in like the nicest little box. This is one I haven't used yet. It's so cute. Isn't that pretty? It's just got this like kind of marbly design to it and I love the pink and the like purple with it. This is one I got personalized with my name there across the bottom, but it's this kind of leather feel to it and it is just so beautiful. It's got gold detailing buttons, which I think is cute too. But I also have this one that is like kind of holographic and I have the word grateful. It's kind of a word that I'm trying to keep in mind. I don't really have a word of the year, but I think if I had one, that would be it. So I just think this is so, so beautiful. And I also feel like Case Defy Cases are a great gift idea for friends and family, you know, different holidays you have, anniversaries, birthdays, Father's Day, Mother's Day, all of that. It's an awesome gift for people and something really special. All you really need to know is what they like and what kind of phone they have, you know? So if you want to save 15% off your order, you can go to casetify.com slash Jessica Braun. I'll have the link right at the top of the description box for you if you want to check it out. If you go to that link, you will be lost in a sea of amazing phone cases and you're gonna find like 10 that you want. So I'm just warning you ahead of time. Trust me. I've had friends of mine that have bought Caseify cases too, and they are like, oh my gosh, it is so fun going through the site and picking your favorite because there's so many different ones. Like it's hard to narrow down. So anyway, thank you so much Caseify for sponsoring this video. Let's dive into all of the new makeup releases. So I popped around Sephora's new arrival section, Ulta's new arrival section, and I also popped on Trend Mood's Instagram and just saw like what was new out there. I just took two screenshots from Trend Mood because I'm gonna talk about a lot of other things that she mentioned 
it doesn't matter. Anyway, you'll see what I mean. First thing that we absolutely have to start this video with is a new cream bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. I tend to like a lot from this brand, and if you've been around a minute, you probably know that. And I am just jazzed. So actually, I'm wearing the contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury today. Although I feel like my skin looks a little patchy. I'm working on a new foundations roundup video, and this is one that Cosmetics Nude Glow that I'm wearing today. It looks a little patchy, just saying. Anyway, but where was I at? Oh, the cream bronzer. This one says it's supposed to be for face and body, and it just looks awesome. Of course, packaging, 10 out of 10, as usual. Charlotte Tilbury never disappoints <laughs> when it comes to packaging, but I think that lightest shade there would probably be pretty good for my skin tone. And it's, by the way, it's called the Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer. So very excited. That is a 100% definitely buying purchase. You know what I mean? So the other thing I took a screenshot of is one that I've already bought, but I want to mention it because they're really cool. It's from ColourPop and I don't talk a lot about ColourPop palettes because, I mean, they launch a new one every week. We all know that. And it gets a little overwhelming, but every once in a while, one stands out to me. And these two actually are ones that I went on ColourPop's site and actually bought. And I couldn't tell you the last time I have bought something on ColourPop's website. That's how deeply I needed these palettes. My point is I typically, if it's ColourPop, I would buy it if it's available on Ulta. If it's not, I'm like, eh, then I'm just not gonna buy it. <laughs> but I needed these. So it is the Set in Stone palette and the Twist of Slate palette. The slate one is cooler toned. The set in stone is warmer toned. I have played with both at this point. Quality, amazing. I, I've never been disappointed by the quality of a ColourPop palette. Like I really haven't been. I think if I were to have just bought one, I would have bought the warmer palette and that's definitely the one I've reached for the most. That's not a surprise. I tend to like warmer tones generally right now, but the shimmers in these are so smooth and buttery. The mattes are super blendable. I just really like it. So I wanted to mention it because like I said, it's one of the few that has like gotten my heart just like going. Let's go to my Ulta cart. I was adding these to the cart just so I don't forget to mention them, but then I'll have to remove a lot of them. <laughs> They're just sitting in there. I guess I could have just hearted them, Jessica. <laughs> Duh. Anyway, okay. I am excited about this. Speaking of bronzers, L'Oreal just launched an infallible powder bronzer. It's in the exact same packaging as their like infallible powder foundation that I already like, but it's got like black on the lid and it looks like they're at least on Ulta site, there are eight options. I would probably get the 200 fair. I am excited. I feel like I haven't been this excited about a drugstore brand's bronzer in a hot minute, like excited to try it. And when I heard about this it was actually a few weeks ago and I, so whoever had shared it, had it linked on Amazon, but when I would go to the Amazon link, it wouldn't show up. And I was searching and combing through Amazon and I was looking in person, could not find it. Now it's finally available on Ulta's website. So I am so jazzed. It says it's a soft matte bronzer, $15.99. Those prices, man. So lightweight, natural looking, 24 hour wear. Yeah, we'll see. Heat proof, waterproof, sweat proof, transfer proof. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but either way, I'm super, super excited. And if it's anything like the powders of their like powder foundations, I love that formula. I just think it's so smooth and nice. I need to put on, this is not it. I'm putting on some e.l.f. camo in the center of my face. I feel like it'll just like smooth things out a bit. Is that helping? Don't you feel like everything looks patchy on me today? I don't know what is going on. It's also, the lighting's always weird on rainy days, if I'm being honest too. So I never like love the way I look when I'm filming on a rainy day. Does that make sense? Also, I couldn't be bothered obviously to put on anything beyond just a zip up hoodie, okay? <laughs> it's my uniform right now. I am intrigued by this one. It's from Laura Mercier and it's their translucent pure setting spray, 16 hours, it's 38 bucks. It says it's supposed to soothe and nurture. It's supposed to refresh, but it provides a breathable barrier against pollutants and helps lock in makeup for 16 hours. This is just so interesting to me. I guess it's supposed to be like the powder. I wanna look, there's only two reviews cause it is newer. I wanna see. This person said the sprayer was terrible, but I liked the product. Yeah, this person said the product itself is good enough, but you'd think the bottle would give a mist. It doesn't. This person says it's too sticky. <laughs> this one says it's pretty good. So I don't know. I don't, I think this one's kind of on my anti-haul list for now. I'm not, you guys know I don't use setting spray all the time. The one I'm loving right now happens to be from Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> but I just have the mini size and I freaking love it. And I don't usually reach for a setting spray, but I feel like that makes a difference. So like, I couldn't tell if it was supposed to be like a spray powder, but I don't think it is. It's truly just setting spray. So until they get like the mister figured out, I think I would just wait. Why is it that some brands can have an amazing mister every time and then most other brands 
the misters are like hit or miss. Can they just all use the same supplier for the misters? <laughs> like once someone has figured it out, everyone use that one. Cause it's crazy to me that in 2022, we're dealing with like misters that aren't up to par, especially for like expensive brands. That's crazy. I know these are not big problems, but I'm just saying. All right, this one I cannot recall if I've talked about in a video. I may have, so I may be repeating myself. I already bought this, but it's now on Ulta. I, again, this is one I wanted badly enough that I went to the brand's website to buy it and it's Flower Beauty and it is their Spotlight Liquid Highlight. I wanna try to see if it's a dupe for, say it with me, the Charlotte Tilbury, like everyone's talking about it. Really the only reason I think most of us think it might be a dupe is because it's literally the exact same packaging, but I still wanna try it. So I have bought it, haven't tried it yet, but I will soon, but now they have it. They have it in three shades. As of filming, only one of the shades is sold out, the bronze one, but the other two are still in stock, so. We'll see. I'm excited to give that a try. It's kind of surprising to me with how popular those Charlotte Tilbury wands are that more brands haven't tried to dupe it. So Morphe just launched a cream blush. I'm looking at the shade Provocative Petal. It says it's a soft focus. It melts into cheeks for sheer to buildable matte color. I love cream blushes, so I always have my eye, you know, when any brand launches one, especially if it's a little less expensive, this one's $12. Packaging's kind of cute too. So this is kind of one that I would sit on. I don't think I'm dying to buy right now. I mean, I know I'm not dying to buy right now, but I would have my eye on it. Like if I saw it in store and I could swatch it, that might be the way I make that decision. So not gonna buy for now, but there were a couple shades that look really pretty. Burt's Bees launched a gloss balm and all of the shades but one right now are sold out. I'm like, dang, who talked about this that got this just popping? But it's their Gloss and Glow Glossy Balm. It's $6.99, it's got coconut oil, mango butter, has a glossy finish, but it's still like a lip balm. So I love this kind of product. I know a lot of us do right now. I feel like they're kind of popular, clearly. And for $6.99, I feel like that's a great price. So this might be something I might be able to find in store at Meijer. I feel like they usually have a decent Burt's Bees makeup selection. That one, I definitely have my eye on. I feel like for the spring and summertime, it'd be really nice. CoverGirl launched this Simply Ageless Lash Plumping Waterproof Mascara. So kind of in their standard, packaging, curvy brush, coats every lash, soft wavy bristles. It's a three in one primer, serum, and mascara. So it's supposed to give thicker, longer, stronger looking lashes in four weeks. Okay, I wasn't so sure, now I want it. I saw primer and I was like, oh, it's a primer mascara in one, okay. No, it says there's also a serum in it. That looks awesome. And it says it's easy to remove, less lash fallout. Oh, it's already in my bag. I was gonna say, I'm gonna add that to my bag. It's already in there. I think I will try that because that sounds awesome. Anytime you can kind of get even a little bit of a benefit for your lashes, I'm all for it. So Kiko, there's two products. So Kiko is a brand that I've seen overseas a lot and I hadn't seen recently in the States until, well, recently. I said that wrong, but you know what I mean. So they have a lot of the products on Ulta's site. I don't know if they have any in store. Regardless, they have this Color Shock eyeshadow and it looks like it's a cream eyeshadow. Oh, and it can be used as an eyeliner too. It looks like, I know I keep talking about Charlotte Tilbury, but those are so expensive. And you guys, that is the thing you guys ask for dupes for more than anything are Charlotte Tilbury products. I have done quite a few videos. I'll link my recent one sharing my best dupes that I've found so far, which are pretty good if you want to save some money. But this looks like it could be a dupe for their cream shadow that I love. So this I probably will buy and give a try. The only thing is I've been burned before. I bought a couple of Kiko products just like a month or two ago. And the second I mentioned them in a video, they weren't carried at Ulta anymore. I'm like, what? And they were in the new section. So I don't know what the heck happened. So I'm always leery. I'm like, I don't want to try it, love it. And then you guys not be able to buy it because it's just like pulled from shelves or whatever in the world. But one other Kiko product I had my eye on is their baked blush. Kiko has really cute packaging and this packaging is why I want to get it. It's like the sparkly silver. There are three shades and all of them look gorgeous. So that might happen as well. <laughs> I just love blush, you guys. Stila has this Stay All Day Dual Ended Waterproof Liquid Liner. So I like the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner, period. Like it's just a good liquid liner. It stays all day. <laughs> but this is dual ended where there's a finer tip and then the original tip. And you can get black, so like black on both ends, dark brown, etc. But then they have different colors. So you can get black and then a shimmering amber color. You can get black and then like a bright copper. So I think that's kind of cool. I probably would just get, because I'm boring, black and black or brown and brown, but they do have different ones. They have colors too. So I think that's pretty neat and kind of unique 
enough that I wanted to mention it. And plus I know I love the formula. That is all from Ulta. Let us move on to Sephora. So something I'm like, mm, really is from Fresh. It's their Rose Hydration Pore Minimizing Mist. I actually like quite a lot from the Fresh Rose line. Like they have this toner, I'll link it below. I need to buy it again because I haven't had it in years. And while I was using that years ago, my skin freaking loved it and I forgot about it until just seeing this. I'm like, oh yeah, it had like rose petals in it. I'll link it below. I think I'm gonna buy that again because I really liked it. Anyway, so I like this line generally, but it says it's a quick hydrating face mist that soothes, helps reduce the look of pores, softens all day. You can use it pre or post makeup. So pre makeup, okay, I can get behind that. But using it as a setting spray, I'm like, I mean, I just feel like because it specifically says it's a pore minimizing mist, that part gives me pause because I feel like it's a little misleading that, you know, yes, there may be ingredients in there and I know they all claim to be poor minimizing. I, I know that. But I just feel like in my head, it was gonna be like you spray it on your face after your makeup and it's gonna make your pores look tighter. And we all know that's not gonna happen. Like that's just not gonna happen. So I could understand it more as a skincare step spraying it on before, but I think after would be a little bizarre. So I'm not planning on buying that. However, like I said, now I am planning on buying the, <laughs> that rose toner. So Aether Beauty, I hope I'm saying that right, has this Citrine Crystal Eyeshadow Quad. It just looks really pretty. I don't own anything from this brand and I've heard titters here and there. I don't think that's, that's a word, is that a word? I've heard titters, I've heard, that's just, no, that cannot be the word. <laughs> anyway, I've heard talk about town about this brand and it says it, they dazzle your eyes with incredible luster. They just look really pretty. I love shimmery eyeshadow so much. And so even if this were more of just like a shadow topper type of quad for me, I have my eye on it. It's not gonna be purchased right now, but I've got my, got my eye on it. This however might be purchased soon. This is the Say Hydra Beam Brightening and Hydrating Under Eye Concealer. That sounds like exactly what I like in a concealer. Well, my favorite cream bronzer is the Say one. It's the Sun Melt one from this brand. It is my favorite. It is the easiest to apply. It is beautiful. Freaking love it. So I already like the brand, which makes me very excited to try this. I tend to kind of go towards a little bit darker of a concealer than a lighter. So maybe I'd go for two versus one, but we'll see. Not a huge shade range at all. It says it's ultra hydrating, lightweight, brightens, blurs, smooth skin. I mean, they all say the same thing but it's got squalane in it, glycerin, cucumber extract. I'm interested enough. Are there any reviews? So this person, this is the best clean concealer I've tried thus far. This is a great concealer, color blends very well. So people seem to like it. I will probably buy that soon. <laughs> you know, there's just certain brands that you start to like and you just wanna try everything from them, you know? So speaking of, Danessa Myricks, has the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. I think I saw Kelly Gooch just talking about this in her similar video, like her Purchase of Past video. And it just sounds like it supposedly can do like everything and that confuses me. So it says you can prime with it. So they have a universal shade. It sounds like it'd be kind of like the e.l.f putty primer, like that kind of vibe. Then they have tinted ones, so you could highlight and contour if you got a shade that was darker or lighter for you. You could do it to set foundation. So it says top on with fingers or a dense brush and stretch to blend. What does that mean? I feel like it would have a little bit of coverage, but a little bit tricky. I don't know that I want to buy this. I really don't. And maybe if I did, I would just get the universal shade and that would just be a primer. But again, I'm like, I don't really use primers like that. Now, if it makes a huge difference and like really, really fills in the pores, I might be apt to actually use it. But I've never noticed such a big difference with those kinds of products like the putty primer. I like fine, but it's not something I use every day, you know? So I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts on that? I've seen a lot of people talk about the yummy skin. I think it's like a glowy primer that I'd be more apt to use. So I might, I'm thinking about that one. Milk Makeup is launching the Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. It's $36. I struggle to spend a lot of money on cleansing balms. However, sometimes they're just better. And so then I'm like, well, then maybe it's worth it. But don't you feel like you just freaking fly through cleansing balms? Like, ooh, I don't know. So I would be interested to try it though because I have tried so many cleansing balms and I love so many and there are some that just suck. You know what I mean? I'm trying right now one from Amazon that I think is pretty good and it's like unscented. It's around, I wanna say 10 bucks from the AOA brand and I think it's pretty good. So I can link that below because it's hard to find cleansing balms that I think are effective. 
at a lower price point. Patrick Ta launched the Major Dimension 2 Rose eyeshadow palette. If I'm being honest with myself, I already have palettes that look like this. I do own the original Major Dimension palette and it's beautiful. I actually really like rose tones, but the one thing I'm realizing with his original palette is the shimmers are so shimmery that I don't reach for that for every day. I just don't. So I know even though I love the shades in this and it's totally up my alley, I just don't think I'm gonna buy it because I'm not getting enough use out of the original palette that I have and I, I need to mess with the creams. They both have two cream shadows on the side. I need to mess with that more because I saw someone use it where they just tapped it on the lid and then got the shimmer and tapped it on top and I was like, oh. <laughs> so I wanna use it in that way. So I think this is beautiful. I think the formula is amazing. If you are like eyeing it, I wouldn't say not to get it. I just, I know myself, I don't need it right now. Okay, everyone is talking about the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush. I think the naming of this is what was so smart on Laura Mercier's part because it's just a weird name for something, a tinted moisturizer brush, blush, you're like, what? But we all understand it's just a cream blush, I mean a liquid blush. But in my head, it's a little more sheer and that's where that tinted moisturizer name comes in. It's moisturizing, but it's got a tint, but the tint is a blush tint versus, you know, I think the naming was smart. And I wonder if they had just named it like Laura Mercier Liquid Blush, I wonder if it wouldn't have gotten as much traction because it is everywhere. Everyone is talking about this, but I've heard kind of mixed things. I've heard a lot of people say it's good, but it's not like astoundingly better than other ones out there, but I want to try it <laughs> for myself. The reviews seem really good. It's got four and a half stars. So I think I would probably get Southbound. That's like a lighter shade, totally up my alley, but there's, oh, they have a good range. Provence is a pale pink nude. That's pretty. Anyway, so we'll see what I end up with, but I do think I'm going to buy one and give it a try. So so KVD Beauty has their waterproof longwear gel eyeliner. <laughs> you guys, I just am on the hunt, man. I am falling in love with all kinds of waterproof liners. I just tried one from the drugstore that is really good. I'm wearing it again today. I've been looking for a dupe for the Makeup by Mara one because it doesn't transfer down. I know, I know, I keep talking about it. But it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Last longwear eye pencil. I'm pretty sure this has existed for a while. I don't even think this is new, but I just was trying it again slash for the first time. I don't really know. Now I know it's really good and it hasn't been transferring down. Like there'll be a little bit. Okay, see now I said that and I'm still testing it. So this is good for me to see. Is it as perfect as the Makeup by Mario? Maybe not but it's really good. It's really good. Anyway, so the KVD one is no cheaper than the Makeup by Mario, but now I'm just like really into trying all of the waterproof eyeliners that are pencil form. So I'm thinking about that one. We'll see. So I'm looking at the One Size by Patrick Star Blush Trio palette. I wouldn't have given this a second glance, but as I was looking into it farther, I realized, oh, it's three different formulas. So the top is a cream. Then they have their full impact matte blush. Then they have a hyper sheen. So in my head, like a blush topper. That sounds interesting to me because you could do all three and they even have swatches on faces of like what it looks like with all of them on, what it looks like with just the cream, with just, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's pretty helpful. So I'm kind of eyeing it. However, the shade I would get is very that and it's currently sold out on Sephora's site. So I'd probably wait till it's back in stock and then buy that one. It's just lighter and that's what I would prefer. I just love the idea of that and thinking about travel too. Like you've got different formulas, you've got slightly different shades, you can wear them all together. I just think that is pretty cool. So that is everything I wanted to talk about, my goodness. I wanna thank again Caseify for sponsoring this video and continuing to support my channel this year. It is very appreciated and thank you guys for supporting me as well. Again, if you wanna get 15% off your order, you can go to casetify.com slash Jessica Braun. I'll have that right at the top of the description box if you wanna check it out. Trust me, if you take a second to go down there and click around, you will find about a thousand cases that you want. <laughs> It's a problem. Anyway, thank you guys. Again, if you wanna watch more of my anti-haul wish list, new makeup chat videos, I will link the playlist down below and you can binge them right now. I hope that you'll subscribe as well if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.